Well, hey guys, it's Michael here. This is a quick little build on this bender. We're gonna also build a little rolling cart for it. And I got two tools to talk about, new tools that I've actually been really needing for a long time, finally purchased recently. This is a Rogue Fab Model 600 tubing bender. These are doubled up plates here. It's a weld together kit. These are all 3 16 and uh, it looks pretty straightforward to weld together. I ordered that. It's a little cheaper and shipping is cheaper as well. And I don't mind painting it and welding it. And the other tool I just got recently is a box brake from uh, Swag Off-Road. I needed a box brake. It fits in my Harbor Freight press for bending aluminum and steel, stuff like that. So I'm going to weld this together quick and probably build a little cart for this. And all these tools are going to be super useful for my up and coming side by side build. All right, let's get welding. Got this thing fully welded and I went over it with the angle grinder and just kind of rounded off all the sharp edges on this thing. It was very precisely cut. I'm not sure if it's very nice plasma cutting or laser cut, but it's really good finish. But rounded off the corners a little bit and I got some blue powder coat paint here. I'm gonna probably paint these blue and maybe these black. Then take this machine over to my friend's house and do some powder coating and bake it. All right, let's go do that next. All right, got all the powder coating on this main frame of the bender here. It's about 180 to 200 degrees, something like that's preheated. The biggest challenge of trying to get this thing actually in the oven without actually scraping off any of the powder, so we'll try our best.
it turned out really nice. And I would like to thank my friend Dave for letting me use his powder coating gun and his oven and giving me a few tips on this. I haven't painted anything with powder coat for about two years. And what we pretty much did was preheat this thing because not only powder coating is statically charged to the metal, but if you preheat it, it gives a really nice even paint job all across the whole thing. It just kind of adheres a little better. And then once we uh, got a powder coat, we put it in the oven, baked it for about uh, 400 degrees for 10, 15 minutes. Got a really nice durable paint job. This blue I actually ordered for the quad truck fenders and haven't got around to painting them. I like the color. The body on here is a silver black kind of a hammer finish. Looks really nice. We could pretty much run it once we get the air cylinder. I ordered it from Harbor Freight. So once that comes in, we're going to load up some one inch tubing and start figuring out how to use this thing. Then a simple little roll around rack on casters because I have a small shop. It'd be really nice to be able to use this and when you're not using it, roll it out of the way. All right, the cylinder from Harbor Freight finally showed up. Now we're going to be installing the spring return. And I also purchased the HD kit and put this on there. Start bending some tubing. So I'm working on a table for this thing because it's heavy enough tool it would be nice to be able to roll it around on some casters. Uh, Start on the first set of legs for this table, transfer my layout exactly over onto this other piece of metal. Here's the clamp block. I got it clamped onto here, dead center. Basically I know the bend's going to start six and a quarter inches from this side of the clamp block to here. Uh, the machine shows your layout and your clamp distance to where your bend is going to start. Basically I loaded the machine, it's going to bend this side up because I'm not removing the clamp block. I just flip the whole piece around, put it back in there, and then start bending it. And it keeps everything on the exact same plane so you're not getting your bends twisted from one another. Alright, let's get bent. Alright, got most of the metal cut, got some roll around casters right here. Uh, to save some time in the video, I'm just going to show a little bit of welding, a little bit of painting, and bring you guys back when it's all finished. So this is the second tool I was talking about earlier in the video. This is a Swag Off-Road uh, Box Break. It's pretty rad. You can remove these fingers here and bend aluminum wool boxes and stuff. But I've been using it a bit for bending some roofing aluminum for the Articulated Mini Dump Truck. I don't really, uh, I've never bent any tubing in here, but I just need to give a little bit of a pitch on this thing. Alright you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. So this kit I ordered, like I said in the beginning of the video, was a weld together kit. It was more affordable that way and cheaper for uh, shipping. And same as the Swag Off-Road Finger Brake, that was also a weld together kit. Both kits were really detailed in instructions and very easy to put together. Both seemed like very good high quality components in them. So yeah, I'm kind of new to tubing bending and tubing notching. That's uh, something that I'm going to definitely have to do a learning curve on and figure that out. But as I start figuring this thing out and how to use it better and how to calculate material in curves and things like that and bends, I'll share this information. You guys are going to see a lot of this and that other machine used in the up and coming videos this fall when I start building the side by side from scratch. So stick around and enjoy the videos. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.